We're gonna do some fun stuff today. We're going to mail merge Google Docs using Lido. Lido helps us automate spreadsheet tasks without code. I've used them a few times now and I'm pretty impressed with how much you can get done without using any app script. Today, we're gonna to link up three different things. The first is a Google form where I've basically got a simple order form that I've created. Then inside the responses, we can set that up so that it opens in a spreadsheet and saves a new row for each submission. And this is going to be our master data that we're then going to throw into a new Lido spreadsheet where we're going to do all our manipulations to automate it to do two things. We're going to take this template that I've got in Google Docs and we're gonna generate a new PDF invoice for each one of the rows of responses. And then we're going to send that generated PDF in an email to each of our customers. And we're gonna set it up so that it all happens automatically every time a new row is added to our master data. I'm gonna make a new file over here in Lido and name it Mail Merge. And the thing that we need first is data. So Lido lets us connect from a lot of different sources we're using Google Sheets for this. If you've never added your credentials, you'll have to add your Google account here. But then after that, we just grab and paste the URL to our Google Sheet, and it will pop up a preview of all of the rows and columns that it's going to input as our data. So I'm gonna click Add Data, and right out of the gate, it creates a table and we're gonna name it coffee orders. And you can tell that it's a table of data that we cannot edit because those are protected cells that live over here in our spreadsheet. So these are just read only values that we're bringing in to then do our automations on top of. All right, first thing we need, we need a total column. And I'm just going to total this up using regular spreadsheet formulas, that times that that times that and add up for a total of 108. The reason we're doing that is because in our template for the invoice, we're actually using this field down here in curly brackets for our total amount. And that's what all these curly brackets are, if you haven't guessed already. They're placeholders so that we can pull the values from each of our rows into separate PDF sheets. Next up, we're going to need an email subject and this is going to be computed. And I've done a previous video on string template, which is a built-in Lido function. We could use that. If you'd like to check out the video that I've got in a card that should be popping up now, you can uh, see how that's used. But the shorthand for it is this. We're gonna do equals, and then if you do a, a bracket, we're gonna go to first name, and then it'll bring in the first name for each of our rows. And I'm gonna say coffee order. Close the parentheses, and there it says Eamon Cadrell coffee order. We're going to do the same thing for email body. Computed column equals again, dear, first name, so dear Eamon. And if you click Alt, Enter, you can do new lines inside the cell. Please find your coffee invoice attached. Thanks for your business. All right, very professional. Close parentheses, and there's our email body. Here's where the fun starts to happen. Generate PDF. This is a computed column and we're gonna go create PDF. Look at this, we got a formula built into Lido. We're gonna add our credentials just like we talked about a minute ago if you haven't done this previously. Click through the Gmail account that you're using and click update. Now we've got the drive credential. Well, that was the first argument in this formula. And then we're gonna go select file. That's for the template link. So we need to select file and we're gonna search for coffee order template. And it should be right at the top of my list because I was just using it. And that's the URL for that template. For new file name, this is gonna be whatever the name of that file is. We can also use that string template format. So we can do parentheses, we'll do first name again, coffee order. Then for the output cell, we're gonna enter P2 because that's going to be where the URL for this generated PDF is gonna live. And the formula bot recommends that I fix this. I had had too many parentheses and it caught that. So I had done a double parentheses over here. Okay, now it sets this up like so. And if we wanna run this, we can just right click and say run action or click right here and say run action. And let's do that. And action ran successfully. And here it's entered in P2. We'll copy and paste this 
up here, and there's our PDF. Pretty cool, huh? So it's got the correct amounts, it's got the invoice total. I didn't have all the formatting in there that you might want to do on an official invoice, but that's pretty sweet. Now we're going to name this column invoice URL. That's going to be linked, and we're going to choose the ID column to be, yeah, let's do timestamp. Okay, we know generate PDF works. Now we need to do the other piece of the automation, which is going to be send an email. This is going to be computed, and we have a send Gmail function where we're going to click our credential. So recipient email is in B2, the subject is in M2, the body is in N2, the status cell, we're going to put that in R2, similar to that generate PDF little printout that it gave us. We want success or failure to be printed out in the cell right next to this. We're going to skip CC, BCC, but then attachment, we are going to put in P2, where the URL for that Google Drive attachment lives, and that's it. Now, if we open this up, we can actually preview the email, and we can actually view the attachment from right there so we can see in the preview that it is properly pulling up the correct attachment, and everything looks good. Let's go ahead and run this so that action runs, and I'll pull my email over here and show you that here is that PDF and the email that was just sent to me. So pretty sweet. It is working just like we wanted it to. Now all that's left is we need to automate this and we also need to make sure that the PDF generates first and then the email sends. Because if we haven't generated the PDF, then the send email is not gonna work. So let's name this success column, email status. That's gonna be linked. And then right here, in order to have generate PDF run first, we're going to use what's called chain. So chain is another built in Lido function, which just tells you what to do in what order. So action one is going to be generate PDF. And then action two is going to be send email. And then we're actually going to put a delay between them. And this is going to be written in milliseconds just to make sure that action one has enough time to run and then action two runs next. So we're going to run that chained action. Right now we don't have anything stipulating uh, to not run it because it's already run. We're going to set that up in just a second. But it has, again, generated a new invoice and invoice URL, and it has sent, let's go check my email, it has sent another email with this new invoice attachment. Looks exactly the same, but it is actually at a different URL. So chain is working, now let's set up an automation. So we're gonna go new automation, automate a column. It's gonna be in this coffee orders table, and it's gonna be chained action as the column. Now, I have a pro plan, which lets me do this up to every five minutes, but you can have a automation running every day for free on Lido, so they're pretty generous with that. We're going to set up a five-minute automation, and you're going to see it actually just rounds to the next minute, so it's set up to run in 44 seconds. Let's see if that's enough time for us to go add an if statement. So we're going to say if this is not equal to success, then run this. Oh, we need to we need to do another uh, order. So let's do an order real quick. Oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna have enough time, but we're gonna try. Uh, Ethiopian coffee. Uh, quantity three. Price twenty two. And then we're gonna go Costa Rica again. Uh, three four twenty one. Submit. All right. Let's see if we did it fast enough. So it's in our sheet right there. Uh, the way Lido works, every time you run an automation, it's going to, no matter what, even if you're logged out, even if the file's closed, it's going to go check our original source data, which is our spreadsheet of those form responses. It's going to check for new values. It's going to bring that in here. It's also going to make sure everything in here is up to date. And you see there's our new values. And then it's going to run the automation. So in our case, it's going to generate this PDF. Here's this new URL where it's generated the PDF. And it's going to send the email because we're automating that chain column and it's going to do it one at a time. So there's that new order that we just did. And over here, let me pull in my email and show you that it sent another email with that new PDF.
All right, so not only did we get our order in on time on the scramble, but we saw everything working in real time. And now, if this were a live piece of data, we would be set. All we would have to do is sit back and wait for new entries to populate here. And the automation is going to run in the background until we turn it off. Hope that's helpful for you. If you want to see some more Lido action, I've done several other videos. Here's one on calendar invites and emailing your guests. I've done the similar setup that we did today and automated it in the same way. Smash that like button, follow me, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you have a great day.